Mexico Coliseum in Los Angeles. Scene of today's SC UCLA football game. A capacity crowd. Seniors introduced first, SC being the home team. And who but the inimitable Keyshawn Johnson would come out of the tunnel being introduced and bringing with him the USC flag. And what a display he put on and did the crowd love it. I don't know if I've seen anybody like him, Coach. I have never seen one like him. He is a piece of work. The uh, Bruins, and uh, there's John Robinson, whose record is 91, 23, and 4 in 10 years as head coach at USC and is looking for his 50th win here at the Coliseum. Terry Donahue has a record magnificent, 150 wins, 20 years as head coach at UCLA. And if he wins today, it would be number 98, and he would be the all-time winningest coach in the history of the Pac-10. SC has an edge, of course, 34, 23, and 7. But the Bruins have won the last four. The last time the Trojans won a home game was in 1987. They're all here today, ready to go. Trojans won the toss, elected to defer. They'll get the ball to start the third quarter. And so it'll be Bastinelli getting set to kick off. McElroy and Ayers are the two deep men for UCLA. Bastinelli is set, and I'll remind you the opening kickoff is being brought to you by Coors. Tap the Rockies. Set to go, and Bastinelli, the freshman, hits it. Pretty good kick coming down, taken right at the one-yard line, and back up the field with it is Ayers. Tries to come outside and does. Has some room to run, and is out of bounds at about... Uh, it was McElroy, excuse me, out of bounds at about the 29, maybe the 30, and the Bruins will put it in play there, first and 10. They'll mark it at the 29. There's the young freshman from West Lynn, Oregon, coming out, Cade McDown, 6'1", 206-pound freshman. I'd like to be thinking in his mind right now, Tom. There's not this many people in the whole western part of Oregon. No. Let alone West Lynn. That's right. I formation. In motion is Jordan. The tailback is Milliner, and he breaks an opening and gets six, seven yards to about the 37-yard line before he is brought down by Phillips and by Fields. Offensively for the Bruins, a senior front wall that is big and talented. Led, but on offense, we've got McNown and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the backfield. He's the uh, number one rusher in the conference, but he hasn't started. Jordan is the all-time pass receiver at UCLA. And Ogden, of course, a man they mention when they talk about the Lombardi and the Outland Trophy Award. giant size tackle. McDown, a play-action fake, back to throw. Dumps it off, pass complete. With it is Caldwell. And he is hit and driven down at about the 47-yard line by Fields. It's going to be a first and 10 for UCLA. Defensively for the Trojans, Stu Gage, a senior out of Sand Springs, Oklahoma, gets to start in the middle of the line with Bonds and Kennelly, Ippiani. Eric Heron, another senior. He's uh, been a veteran of a lot of things, including Desert Storm. And Mike Phillips, a senior out of Dallas, Texas, starting in the defensive secondary. First and 10, UCLA. The ball on the Bruin, 47-yard line. McDown hands it to the tailback, who is hit and dropped behind the line, breaking through very quickly to make the hit. Eric Heron. Was um, Epiani, number 55, in there like a shot, and Heron was right behind him. Another look at it. Here's what USC has to do. They bring Heron hard from the outside, Ifiani from this side. Now, you notice they, they switched up. Ifiani's usually been playing on the right defensive end. He's playing left defensive end today because that's where UCLA likes to run. The loss is going to put it back to the 44-yard line. It'll make it second and 13. McDown rolling left, throws on the run. Pass is caught, complete, and down at about the Trojan 47-yard line. McCutcheon makes the stop for a USC. Jordan with the catch. Well, if I was coaching USC today and having talked with Coach Robinson and his staff, they're going to force UCLA to put the ball in McNown's hands. They want, if they're going to get beat, let the freshman quarterback beat you, not the running game. Third down at about four, out of the shotgun. McNown hands off on the sweep, coming left, finding some room at the 40. 
35-30 down the sidelines and out of bounds. Seemed to be a very simple play, and the Bruins ran it beautifully. Davis takes it for 21 yards, first and 10. UCLA, and the ball is on the Trojan 20-yard line. Anytime you run the football, you've got great blocking up front. Great block by their tight end, Richards. Their tackle on that side, Rome, Flanagan in the center. And you get the ball outside. It was just great blocking by the UCLA offensive line. Davis takes it a long distance. And it'll be first down. It was his very first carry of the season for Davis. He made the most of it, did he not? He sure did. Ball is at the Trojan 26. First and 10, UCLA. Reverse. There's the reverse, and with it is McElroy. Comes back inside. He's got some room. Still on his feet inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. 12 yards on the pickup. McElroy, they generally run that reverse with Ayers, but they did it with McElroy, and on this opening drive, the Bruins have moved it down the field in a hurry. UCLA is always going to show you this early in the game, let you know they have it. They pick the off tackle play, hand it back to McElroy, and again, great blocking at the point of attack. Very, very poor tackling the secondary by USC. First and 10 at the Trojan 14 yard line. Right in motion, they give it to straight up the middle comes number 25 Ayers. Fields brings him down. With the absence of um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the backfield, Terry Donahue has gone in with Ayers at a running back spot. He brought in Davis at a running back spot. Got his first carry of the season a moment ago and made it a big one on a reverse. Mark the on a sweep, I should say. Mark the ball at the 12. It'll be second and eight. UCLA on the Trojan 12-yard line. You know, Coach Donahue has been around a long time. He doesn't want to put the pressure on his young quarterback this early in the game. He wants to establish that run. So he has the uh, shotgun formation. Play action fake. We now no, they do give it to the running back, and he's dropped almost in his tracks at the 11-yard line. Ippiani was there, along with Fields and Sammy Knight, and also Matt Kennelly. Seeing Coach Robinson there, I read a book a long time ago, Tom, called uh, Know Thy Enemy. It was written by one of those great generals, MacArthur or Eisenhower or Woody Hayes or Bo Schembechler. Terry Donahue knows John Robinson. He knows him. Three guys on Terry's staff used to coach for John Robinson, so they know they have to establish this run. Third down and about seven. The ball is on the 11-yard line. McNown. Rolling, hands off and a little shovel to the five airs to the two yard line. It'll be first and goal. Well, I tell you, the Bruin line up front, Ogden Christensen, Flanagan, Overhauser, Rome, and the tight end Richards, they're all seniors, they're all big, and they are really winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. See, they're inviting Ifiani and Bonds to come and rush the passer McNown, and then he just flips it underhand on that old shovel pass. Jack Curtis invented in Utah in 1946. I thought he might have come up with it in Santa Barbara. No, I guess he was at Utah <laughs> he was before in he Utah. ended up in Utah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be first and goal. Bruins started this drive on their own 29. McDown gives the ball to the fullback, Milliner, and he stopped just short of the goal line. Well, there's another old adage in football. Give your best back the ball over your best lineman. And they ran right up Jonathan Ogden's back right then. Heron made the stop. Second and goal at the one. Into the game now comes Wallandy. Out of the game goes Caldwell at fullback. Wallandy comes in. One would think for blocking purposes. Tailback is Milliner. Two tight ends to bookend the line, second and goal. They give it to Milliner again, and he's into the end zone, and the Bruins have scored. <laughs> 71 yards for UCLA on this drive. And they take it down the field to draw first blood at six to nothing. Now we'll see about Mertens and the drive for the extra point. Walker, reserve quarterback to hold, Mertens to kick. Long count, and the snap. Down, hits it, it's up, and it is good. And so, with 9.57 remaining, it is 7-0 here in the first period as the Bruins 
take uh, just four minutes and three seconds to go down the field. Five minutes and three seconds to go down the field and score on a 71-yard drive, and very efficient it was indeed. Very impressive. Bob Toledo, the offensive coordinator for UCLA, used to work for John Robinson in his first tenure of duty at USC. And again, going back to know your opponent. He knows that man right there, John Robinson. And he picked the USC defense apart, and I think they controlled the line of scrimmage offensively. Here's another look at the touchdown, and Milliner takes the handoff and literally walks into the end zone. He was in the end zone before a Cardinal jersey got near him. Well, as it was incumbent upon the Trojan defense to show itself in that opening series, and they did it is even more incumbent upon the Trojan offense to come back and answer with points. Or this could be a very long afternoon for the Cardinal and goal. Miller and Volsan are the two deep men for USC. Awaiting the kickoff by Andrusek out of Honolulu. Yeah, Terry recruited him himself. You know, he had to go over there and cover that area. I've known coaches that have gone <laughs> right in the offseason. I think I met you there one year, did I? <laughs> under the banyan tree yes, in sir. Under the Moana Hotel. Yeah. About 35 Mai Tais uh, <laughs> in an afternoon. That kickoff is going into the end zone, and out. SC will take over on their own 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 SC at that point. Waholtz will come on to start, although Otten is, of course, available. He could have played last week in the game up at Oregon State. Big junior out of Corona. 6'5", 220-pounder. Big, strong, tough kid. Has a magnificent arm. Didn't play in this game a year ago. Of course, neither did Cade McDowell. But what an opening drive he put together. First down at the Trojan 20-yard line. Tailback, Washington. Play action fake. Going long downfield to Keyshawn. Oh, a diving effort comes up empty as Walholtz overthrew him all the way down the field. And with him all the way down the field was Williams along with Gidry. It'll be second and 10 at the 20. SC has got Barnum as the senior in the backfield. Washington is just a sophomore. Keyshawn Johnson, of course, everybody's favorite wide receiver. Jeremy Hogue, who uh, is in line, uh, perhaps, for a very big-time award. Like the Rhodes Scholarship. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line. He's a candidate. Again, the play-action fake. Waho throws it upfield intended for the tight end, McWilliams, and he was hit and hammered, and this Bruin defense is all fired up. In on the uh, play was uh, Wookie for UCLA, number 27. And while the Trojans were unable to move the ball on two pass plays, George Case anchors the line. He could have picked uh, Grady Stretz and both have had magnificent seasons, as has Abdul McCullough, who came over from a defensive back spot. And Teddy Lawrence with two interceptions. Bruin secondary has a total of eight overall this year. Third and ten at the 20 for USC. Trailing 7-0. Johnson in motion. They give the ball to Sermons, trying to go outside, comes back inside, gets about three at the most. There's a flag down at the 24-yard line. I would imagine it'll be holding against SC. I would imagine also the ball's going to go over to the Bruins is coming on is uh, Stonehouse. I believe we'll wait and see about the flag. Going to be holding against SC. I don't know whether the Bruins will take that and give them another down. I guess not. Although it's a moot point, isn't it? It is. Uh, holding would take that ball back to about the 13 yard line. Stonehouse comes on, 43.6, best kicker around, and in a long time, best kicker around for the Trojans. Gidry waits for the ball. Stonehouse hits it. It's a beauty. Gidry waiting at the 32 signals for a fair catch. And it'll be the Bruins first and 10 on their 32 yard line. Play resumes. We'll be back. Milliner and Caldwell are in at the running back spot. The Bruins lead 7 0 over SC. Having gone 71 yards the last time they had the ball and about 11 plays to put it in the end zone. Now the Bruins, after having the Trojans go three and out, start at their own 32. Wide to the right side is Jordan. 
McNown back to pass. Ball is tipped. Up getting a hand on it was Marcus Bonds, and the guy they tried to get it to was McElroy. Bonds got just a fingernail on it. That'll make it second and 10 at the 32. Marcus Bonds did a great job of reading that. It's a quarterback dropping quickly, and the, the back, Milner, didn't quite get to his feet. you got to bring the outside backer's hands down. He didn't do it that time. McNown, three of four. Got a second and 10 at his own 32 out of the shotgun. Gives it, no, fake, throws it over the middle, complete. Caught up field with a grab at number 83 is Belsby, 13 yards and a first down. They out of the shotgun, run that fake handoff on the sweep to guys like Davis. McCutcheon made the stop. That was first and 10. They were successful with this sweep early and a great fake by McDown and just a straight in pattern against his own defense and he threw it right on the numbers. For a first down. Ball is at the Bruin 45-yard line. Jordan wide to the right. McElroy is set to the short side of the field. Play action. McDonough is back to pass. Going to be hit. Going to be dropped at the 40. And the Trojans, in their haste and eagerness, almost overran him. Perry went right by him. Finally came back and got him with Knight. But they had him trapped maybe five or six yards deeper than that and ran right past him in their exuberance and in their anxiety and who can blame them for being anxious back at the 40 it'll be second and 15. Hey now for freshman Tommy he's shows me a lot of poise in a big game like this his ball handling that's something that people seem to overlook they always look at quarterbacks how they throw and all that but his ball handling has been sensational second and 15 at the Bruin 40 yard line they lead seven to nothing play action rolling to his left looking may run it now throws all the way downfield, man wide open, and that's McElroy, and he's down at the one-yard line in a touchdown saving tackle. Made by Davis, 59 yards, and who's playing defense for USA? Boy, obviously they must have hit on that bootleg. I was just talking about ball handling. And you're going to look at about 10 guys bite on this thing. He makes a great fake here, pulls it out. Got Christensen leading him around the outside. He can run or throw right now. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Did you see the strong safety of USC bite on that? Whoa. But I tell you, when I said who's playing defense for SC, the answer came back almost with a roar. No, no one. Buddy. First and goal at the one. The Bruins looking to take a two-touchdown lead in the first seven minutes of this ball game. And the Trojans on offense haven't been very good either. Three and out, the only time they had the ball. They give the ball to the big fullback and Caldwell scores. Did you see the left side of that line come off? Oh. Christensen, Ogden, the they center, have, Flanagan. They have totally dominated Whoa. this football game. Make no mistake about it. And, of course, for Terry Donahue, it is a chance to be the all-time winningest coach in the Pac-10. If his Bruins win this ball game, and they're well on their way to doing just that, why, they would be 7-4 and four and conceivably would end up in the Aloha Bowl or maybe even the Sun Bowl. That was a great shot of the touchdown by our producer, Jeff Proctor. Did you see where the line of scrimmage was established? One yard into the end zone. The try for the extra point is good. It is 14 to nothing. UCLA 7.58 remaining in the first period. Trojans are in big trouble. We'll be back. And the kickoff. And the ball is hit high and deep and into the end zone. And it'll come out to the play. On the touchback. As I remember, Tom, the last time I saw Coach Robinson getting after the defense like that was up at the University of Washington, Yeah, right? it was. And they responded in the second half by stopping Washington. Gave him a touchdown early in the third quarter that stopped him. Six out of the seven times they had the ball for an eventual 21-21 tie. Well, this start is certainly a disappointment to that man. Make no mistake about that. And to predominantly uh, thousands of Trojan fans here, there, and everywhere. The team is going to the Rose Bowl. But they certainly aren't doing much in the way of exhibiting Pac-10 championship standing so far. The give to DeLon Washington, and he gets to the line of scrimmage and no more. In there among others for UCLA on defense 
was Ward, number 97, who came away with a bit of a strut. Best be careful doing that. He'll get 15 for demonstrating. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, UCLA is showing them a little something different. They're taking McCullough, their outside linebacker, number nine, putting him in the middle with Wilmer, number 53. So there's two linebackers inside. Look at them inside. They're trying to take SC's run away from them. So far, the Trojans have not been able to do anything, run or throw. They give to Washington, and he cuts right back into a host of white jersey Bruins waiting for him at the 26. It seemed from here. Of course, vision is a lot better up there. Had he come outside, why, he might have had nothing but Keyshawn Johnson and a lot of uh, Coliseum lawn to run around. UCLA is daring them to throw the football right now, Tom. They're well, playing they haven't run. thrown it very well at all, no. so why not? Well, it's a third and four, and the Trojans uh, trying to find their first first down of the afternoon. They have to go to the air. In fact, there are no running backs set there. Is back to throw as Waholtz has time. Throws complete for the first down to Chris Miller, and Miller takes it out to about the 30 yard line for the first first down of the afternoon for USC. Mark it up to 33. Now, how many times have you seen me say this on third and long, or third and four, let's say, we're going to try to hit the seam against the zone. UCLA went to their nickel package, three-man rush and eight deep, and they, they hit the seam in it. Out of the huddle, Miller is flanked wide to the left. His cousin, Keyshawn Johnson, set to the right or short side. I formation and a play-action fake, and Wah holds in trouble, but goes long for Keyshawn. Throws it too far. Missed him twice now. The first time by about two yards, this time by about five. It'll be second and ten at the Trojan 33-yard line. 14 to nothing. Cade McDowell led the Bruins on two very big-time drives, one of 71 yards and the other of 68 yards. And in there was a 51-yard toss, 59-yard toss and run. And I don't know, but what he had that ball in the air, 40 yards, but could that be possible, Dennis? Very easily, couldn't it? Yeah. So this young freshman out of West Lynn, Oregon, what do you mean big game, huh? <laughs> the big game up there is West Lynn versus Central Lynn. Second down, a ton of time, the pass caught in big traffic by big-time receiver Keyshawn Johnson, who now becomes the Pac-10's all-time single-season reception leader. Mark it at the 44. Needed 10, got 11, it's a first and 10. And there it is, now you can see it in print, if you don't believe me. Well, that's, you know, that's something, to be the all-time leader right here on a slant route. He breaks it into the zone, settles down, Kyle hits him right there, and that's a tough catch to make, and I hope they give him the ball, but it's probably against the NCAA rules. That's right. There'd probably be a further investigation, probably at halftime. Ah, uh, but we, we, we digress. Indeed we do, and shame on us. NCAA has enough problems. Isn't it interesting how everybody who is the leader of the NCAA, once they get away from Mission, Kansas, suddenly says, you know, we don't treat the athletes very well, really. We ought, to, we ought to change that. Why didn't you think of that when you were there for 40 years? Well, it just never done. First down at the 44. 14 to nothing, Bruins lead. The handoff to Devon Washington in the backfield. He is hit and dropped before he even gets there. That was the extra backer, McCullough. Indeed it was, and he had some help from Ward as well. It'll be a loss of a yard to the 43 and make it second and 11. Well, SC doesn't look as though they can run that football. McCullough in the back. That's what I, I talked about earlier, Tom. He usually plays in the outside. You saw how they brought him to the middle. He's unaccounted for because SC hasn't seen this before, but now you, you've seen it twice. Five and a half minutes remain in this opening period. SC is down 14 to nothing. Delay handoff to Sermons in the middle. Has some room to run. Takes it close to the first down at the Bruin 48. Not enough for the first down. Big call. Big call. We're going to mark it uh, closer to the call at the 48 if you'd like. Uh, just over the 50. 48 and a half to be uh, exact. And it's third down and about. Call it three. 34 yards totally for the Trojans, 138 for the Bruins. But why not? Two prodigious runs. Prodigious and prolific. Huh? Back to pass. Waholtz over the middle. Complete. Keyshawn Johnson has the first down at the 42. It'll be first and 10. SC at the Bruin, 42. Coach going to the short pass right over the middle to number three. 
They have tried to hit him deep twice, and Wahoats has been off line by maybe a total of 10 yards on the two passes. Well, that's why the underneath pass is open now. Those two long passes to Keyshawn were messages. Hey, we're going to go deep with him if you want to play one-on-one. -on -one. So UCLA goes to a zone, and they're trying to hit the seams in those zones, and I like the patience they're showing right now. Billy Miller's in the ball game, and the pitch is back and trying to turn the corner and getting some yardage as Ron Washington and a beautiful run inside the 25 to the 23. That is a 19-yard run, and that's the biggest play the Trojans have had so far today. Down to the Bruin 23, and one of the Bruin defenders shaken up. That's Williams, who was shaken up on the play, and uh, they're up to take him off the field. Boy, watch his acceleration right there. Great block by John Michaels, Kyle Ramsey. Now watch him accelerate right through the seam right there, run away from everybody, and get up the field. And cover up the football to the Bruin 23 for a first down. SC started this drive at their own 20-yard line. They had third down and four at their 26, and suddenly they've managed to put an offense together, and they're threatening to get back into this football game at the Bruin 23. Wahoes gives it to Washington, comes back inside, diving to about the 19-yard line. Now I'm beginning to think I'm getting a little paranoid watching running backs. But I can think of all kinds of them that would have taken one step inside, come outside, and been in the end zone. Well, with, with those two linebackers inside, you're, you're playing eight people. The hole is outside, just like you're saying, Tom. You, but is, it, is it oblivious to the running backs? Are we the only ones you can see? Somebody's got to let them know there's two linebackers sitting inside. And you know me on first down, especially in this area, there's eight men up front. Play action, pass them on first down. Second and six. SC with the ball at the Bruin 19-yard line. UCLA leading 14 to nothing. Pass to Keyshawn Johnson. He's at the 15, down to about the 12-yard line, and that should be good enough for a first down. I'll tell you, Mike Riley's mixing it up pretty good on him. They're doing a great job of getting the ball to Keyshawn Johnson. You know, you put it in his hands, he's going to make you miss. First and 10 at the 12. Gets a bit of a contained block there by Miller. Yeah, on Wilkie, and uh, takes it down with a little juke and jive to the 12-yard line. Out of the game goes uh, Cashman. Chris Miller is in. Keyshawn Johnson to the left. First down at the Bruin 12. The pitch, the reverse. Keyshawn Johnson, he's across the way at the 10. Stiff arms a man, gets to the 10 and no more. I hope we get another shot of that. wall. has been a pretty good block for quarterback. Yeah, yeah, for, I'm glad you said for a quarterback. I qualified that. It'll be second and eight at the 10. You know, that's not part of your scholarship. Watch him pitch the ball, peel back here. And look at this vicious darn thing right there. Well, uh, let me say this. He that did strikes a pretty good move on Ward. Uh, that strikes fear yeah. in the heart of men. Not it? bad. That's not part of his scholarship, you know. 14 to nothing. Bruins lead. Second down and eight. The ball at the UCLA 10-yard line. These have been tough, difficult yards for SC to get all year long, no matter who they were playing. Blitz. Wahoo. Pass. Oh, my. Wanted to get it to Billy Miller and missed him. Big time blitz put on by the Bruin defenders. That'll be third and eight at the 10. They brought the front eight. Like you said, Tom, here's the blitz. Watch, watch those two inside backers come, and they're coming hard to the inside. So now you've got seven people to block eight. That means the quarterback's got to unload it before he really wants to. You see how Billy didn't make the turn before Kyle had to unload it. So, big play now for the Trojans, who are trying to get a touchdown to get back into this. A worried John Robinson patrols the far sidelines. Third down and eight. Again, the blitz. Waho back, throws. Pass is caught. Stops with the ball at the five-yard line was Keyshawn. It's a little too long from here. I think you got to kick the field goal. Keyshawn Johnson takes a pretty good shove. Guy who hit him a pretty good shot was Cobbs. Cobbs got him, and then Gidry wrapped him up. Field goal is going to be a 23-yard try. Abrams is back after being away from any game due to a leg injury or bruise. Abrams hits it, and the young man from San Diego missed it. 
So the Trojans toil in vain. Take it from their 20 to the ruined 10. Come away empty. UCLA leads 14 to nothing. Inches of snow back in Happy Valley last uh, middle of last week. Oh boy, did I? And Penn State beat Michigan. 19 inches of snow. I'm glad we weren't there. They've got the ball starting on their own 20. Jordan in motion. Cade McDown hands off to Milliner, finds an opening, and uh, Jonathan Ogden just blows people out of the way. And Mc, uh, Milliner runs right up his back and out to about the 27-yard line. Second and three at the 27. Haas and Phillips make the stop. I'd say the right guard number 69, Overhouse, made a great block to uh, Five of six for young Cade McDown. Young freshman, left-hander out of West Lynn, Oregon. Hands it off, Davis on the sweep. They run it successfully, runs through one tackle, almost got away from another, but Kelly wouldn't let him get away at the 29-yard line, I think, just shy of the first down, and it'll be third in the yard to go. And that was Brian Haas, number 41, another backer for USC. That's the play. See if we can see Haas right here in the middle. Here's the sweep. Watch Haas come right up here. He, he's doing it exactly where you're supposed to be. Now settle down and make the play. Misses him. He hasn't played in a couple of weeks. At the 29, 30 yard to go. Again, that shotgun offense for McDown. Gives it to Milliner on the sweep. Going outside. He's got the first down by a couple of yards. As up to make the stop is Scott Fields. And we come to the end of the first period of play. 14 to nothing. The Bruins lead. Is Donahue going to win number 98 today? Could be. We'll be back. Nothing in favor of the Bruins. And the uh, Trojans find themselves looking at the Bruins, who have a first down at the UCLA 33. Coaches on the SC sidelines uh, obviously concerned, and uh, why not? Florida State and Florida big time winners on Saturday. Iowa's, uh, Ohio State another big time winner. Big opening and up the middle out to the 40 41 yard line. Milliner gets eight. It's going to be second and two. Davis finally makes the stop. And again they are really moving the Trojan defense around the uh, that front line of Ogden, Christensen, Flanagan. Watch the left side, the bottom of your screen there. Watch Ogden and Christensen right there. You can see why the, those guys are going to be number one draft choices. I mean, when the first person you see is the safety man, somebody's doing a good job of the line of scrimmage. And Overhauser pulls on that uh, little trap, and they get big yard. Fumble by McDown, back to throw. He gets away. Everybody had him, and look at this. He was trapped for a loss, still on his feet at the 50. How about that? Oh boy. Think he brought At the 50 yard line, they first and 10 after 10 yards. He brought that play with him from Westland, Oregon. Let me tell you, the Trojan defense is going to be vilified and if not only that, abused in the write ups of this game. Yeah, there it is on the reverse angle. And he did the right thing. Hey, when you don't have anything, pick it up and run for your life. You know, fear is a big part of this game, too, Tom. Indeed, fear motivates a lot of people far more than many other things. No matter what you're doing, including playing football. Straight up the middle, more big yardage, and that's Ayers running out of the tailback spot. Takes it to the Trojan 42-yard line, a gain of seven, second and three. Knight makes the stop. Eric Heron finally got a horse collar grab at McNown. You know, I was in the UCLA locker room prior to the game talking to Coach Donahue, and and Terry's really sold on this young freshman. He says, Craig, you know, he's like a wild stallion. You never know what he's going to do, but he says, when he does it right, he is super. He's a thoroughbred. Second and uh, long three. Ball at the Trojan 42. Bruins lead 14 to nothing. Looking to make it a big time sweep this afternoon. Into the middle. Another opening and another first down. And straight ahead to the 37-yard line is Milliner, and he's finally brought down up to make the stop, Jefferson and Cusano. So far, 76 yards on the ground for UCLA, 42 for the Trojans. I'll tell you, John Robinson knows Terry Donahue as well as I do, and if you can't stop the run, that's all you're going to see all day. He's not going to put it up. 
first and ten at the Trojan 37-yard line. Here's Davis on the sweep, trying to turn the corner. Does and a nice tackle. Dalen McCutcheon, talented young freshman, comes up to make the stop at the 35. Second and eight after a gain of two. And if McCutcheon hadn't put a sure round the knee tackle on Davis, he might have slipped away and gone down the sideline. You know, we talk about McDowell being a freshman. I think McCutcheon's had a heck of a year, Tom, for a true freshman. That guy, I mean, he covers, he tackles. He does everything you want of a defensive back. May have to make him a 60-minute player. Give him the football. Tonight. Not a bad idea for spring ball. At the 35, there's the, the handoff. Here's the reverse. Well, the pass. is going to throw it. Puts it downfield. The man all alone. Touchdown, Jordan, UCLA. McElroy throws it 35 yards. Well, that's 12, right. 12 remaining here in this first half. And the Bruins are up 20 to nothing. Trojan defense, it really makes no difference who throws the ball because two of those long bombs have been thrown now by... That's what happens when you yeah. establish the run. The USC secondary is going to come up and play run. And they make the sweep, make the reverse, and throw a strike. And the closest person to him is Sammy Knight, the strong safety. See now about the try for the extra point. Merton's uh, out of a hold by Walker. And it's now 21 to nothing. Nine plays, 80 yards. And here again is McElroy throwing it in the end zone, and Jordan makes the catch. The Bruins are turning it into a back right up to this. And the kickoff is high, end over end, and not that deep. Taking it to seven. Old sand to the 10, the 15, grab, can't get away. Well, that was a great play by Denson, number 28 at UCLA right there. He broke the wedge and wrapped up the tackle all by himself. Here comes the reverse. And you can see that, what's the USC secondary right here? Safeties. You can see both safeties fly to the football. They're trying to stop the run to start with. Now, uh oh here comes the reverse. Now McElroy's throwing the football. See the safeties tied up inside there? Brad Otten comes in to quarterback the Trojans as we start SC's drive on its own 15-yard line. Hand off to the tailback, and Delon Washington gets out to the 17. It'll be second and eight after a gain of two. Otten is a 60% passer. Ten touchdowns, four interceptions. You know, he's had the hot hand when he was well and uh, right now he needs the hot hand well, USC needs his hot hand 1145 remaining in the first half 21 to nothing the Bruins lead USC SC came into the game favored perhaps by as many as seven points in the minds of some even more on the delay the give and uh, Delon Washington gets to the 20 was there to bring him down with George Kays had him around the ankle. Washington seemed just a step slow had he taken one quicker little move while Kays would have been looking at his heel instead of grabbing him. And he'd have had a long run too, Tom. They brought all three linebackers plus the free safety. So, boy, once you pop against the blitz like that, you've got a long run. Third down and at least five, and the ball is at the SC 20-yard line. Three receivers set wide to the left. Otten is back to throw. Gets a rush. Throw. Pass. Caught. Still caught. Oh. Bobbled, juggled, and held on to by the inimitable. 20 yards to Keyshawn Johnson. First and 10. And the ball is at the Trojan 41. I know it may sound um, one-sided, but I don't know when I've seen a receiver with this man's ability. No. Nope. Certainly not playing for USC, and I don't know if I've seen one who played for anybody with his concentration, love of the game, and ability to play it. You know, just to hold on to this thing, watch the lick he takes right there. Look at the concentration. Well, Gidry tried to tear him in two. First down at the Trojan 41. Otten turns, hands the ball to Washington. Straight ahead into a pile of people for the life of me. I know the play is probably... I don't know, 24, and you're supposed to run into the four hole. Actually, that was 24. That was yeah, what it was, 24 power. do it if the hole is blocked? 
Well, Why do you run three. into a brick wall if indeed there's no crack in the wall? <laughs> the last three first downs, UCLA's brought all three linebackers. Second down and maybe nine at the Trojan 42. 21 nothing. Bruins lead. Ten minutes to go in the half. Otten to throw. Pass complete. It's Tyler Cashman with it. He takes it for a first down at the Bruin 45. First and ten. Going to be a pickup of 13. Yeah. Trojans drove down to the Bruin 10-yard line in this early in the second period here and came away empty. Missed a field goal. And the Bruins, every time they get the ball, march right back down the field and score. Have the Bruins not scored with each possession so far? Yes. yes three sir. times, three touchdowns, 21 nothing. From the Bruin, 45. Delay, they give it to Servants. He tries to go outside, comes back inside, and then is hit by McCullough and stopped after he gets to the 44-yard line. Going to be a gain of one, second and nine. Well, you know, McCullough's a very active guy. He played in the secondary, and, and a lot of teams this year have done the same things that USC did with Fields. Take strong safeties and move them to weak side backers, but today he's playing inside also. So you've got to be physical to stand in there against uh, Kyle Ramsey and Phelan Pounds and guards that look like those two guys. It'll be a second down and call it eight for the Trojans. Not call it nine. The ball at the 34. Hot play action. Back to throw. Looking for somebody to come open. Threw it behind McWilliams. This is what SC really wanted to do early in the game because UCLA blitzed him pretty good last year. His bootleg and try to get outside. He was really trying to go out and up to uh, Keyshawn. Pretty good coverage by Lawrence. And he had to come off of it and try to get McWilliams and threw it behind him. Well, all he had to do was look across the field and see Delon Washington wide open. There was nobody near him except the side judge. 20 yards down the field. Third down and nine at the Bruin 44. 21 nothing. UCLA. First half. Otten going to throw it. Oh, my. He was uh, like the old adage, he who hesitates. And he hesitated and waited and thought, maybe I'll run it, and then maybe I won't. Oh, I'll throw it to number three, and then missed it. I don't know. Boy, he had it, too. And I say what made the play was Jeremy Hogue. He came from the backside and blocked McCullough, who was blitzing from the outside, and gave him a chance, and he just made a poor throw. Gidry is waiting for the ball as Stonehouse comes in. It is fourth down for the Trojans, who this time get only to the Bruin 44 before exploding. Nice kick by Stonehouse. Gidry watches it bounce at the four. Trojans could down it there, and they do. SC stops and puts the Bruins deep in Bruin territory at about the three-yard line. 41-yard kick by Stonehouse. We'll be back. Lines. Anthony Davis, number 28. Not doing any dances in the end zone this afternoon, Craig. No, he looks like he's wintered pretty well, too. Uh, or is getting set to. <laughs> <laughs> Coached him. He was a joy to coach. They're on four yard line. The handoff and Miller is stopped. He gets to about the five. Well, SC did a great job there, Tom, of bringing everybody to the inside as quick as they could. Matt Kennelly, bottom of the pile. Mark it at the five, and it'll be second and nine. Cade McDown getting signals from the bench. Milliner comes out. Ayers comes in. Michael Roy is flanked wide to the left side. McBride is to the right. And again, the handoff up the middle. And again, little or no gain. A big pile of humanity and about the seven-yard line. And this is what you do when you play against the Terry Donahue coach team. Because when Terry, you got him in his end of the field, he's going to run the football. Terry's a conservative guy. He, Especially with a 14-point lead, you don't want to... 21-point lead. I mean, lead. yeah, I, I, wishful thinking, wasn't it? Yeah. So you're going to play run down here. He doesn't like to throw the football down here. Well, don't be too surprised if he does. I just see that Jordan comes in with a play. He's got McElroy flanked wide to the right, Jordan to the left, and he's in that shotgun. Big down at his own 
the 27-yard line, gives it to the tailback. And here's Ayers almost in the end zone. But he's going to be hit, knocked out of bounds at about the nine. What did I tell you? Aaron Karen went over to make the stop. So the Bruins will kick it. And for the first time, UCLA had the football and did not score with it. Maybe that's an omen of good things Sammy for the Trojans. Watch Sammy Knight come hard from his Could safety had position, and he just doesn't wrap him up. I mean, he was right there. Sailor is back to kick, standing in the Bruin end zone. Parker waits at the 49, just about midfield. Sailor gets it and hits it. Nice kick. Beautiful. Parker takes it at his own 39. Gets a block. At the 50, he's out of bounds. It'll be first down at midfield for the Trojans after a 52-yard kick by Sailor is returned 11 by Parker. 21-0 Bruins. W1 by Raymond Wild. The cutting edge in time. the next generation. W1 by Raymond Wilde. Did you ever wish you could do magic? Hi, I'm Brad Cairns, and I never get tired of seeing eyes sparkle and jaws drop when I perform a little magic. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can do magic too. I've made a video that will help you master some of the basics of misdirection. Imagine you'll be able to make any small object completely disappear and then pull it right out from behind someone's ear. My video gives step-by-step -step instructions showing you some of the most clever magical effects ever devised. Grandparents can dazzle their grandchildren, parents can amaze their kids, and every trick can be performed with household items, like the nut and bolt mystery. You don't need any special props. Let me share my magic with you. So order my new magic video now before they all disappear. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. Dane was in the booth from Oregon State. Oregon State. And would you, if I were to ask you, men, money, marbles, or chalk, which team had a player in this conference that had caught almost as many passes as Keyshawn Johnson? Would you pick Oregon State? Not like you know. Keyshawn just broke his record today. Yep. And the pitch on the sweep. Delon Washington falls down at midfield. In fact, Dave said 21 to nothing. He says, heck, we're used to that all the time at Oregon State. Becomes almost a way of life, like rain, <laughs> rain gear, uh, every now and then snow and sheep. You gotta like mutton, don't you? You gotta love the game. Second down and 10 as uh, Washington on the sweep just falls down at the line of scrimmage. 21 nothing, Bruins lead. SC with the ball. Defense for the first time a moment ago stopped UCLA. Pass up the middle, batted down, and almost intercepted by Bennett. He's got two interceptions already this year. Which of these UCLA linebackers are very active guys. They play the run. Both Bennett and McCullough on the outside. Watch him. He reads it. Reads it. Oh, I'm not going to take the fake. Get back into my zone. Put my hands up. He did a great job. Third down at midfield. Trojans unable to put it in the end zone. Deepest penetration, Bruin 10 yard line. Shotgun formation. Chris Miller catches it, takes it short of the first down at the Bruin 42. Well, you need 11. You don't run a seven yard route, do you? That doesn't make the faithful here very happy. Uh, no. It was a three-man rush with eight covering the pass in the zone defense, and they're trying to hit the seam in the zone, hoping once I make the grab, I'm going to go three or four yards beyond. But UCLA is too quick in the secondary. They're going to tackle you. What do you think of fourth down and three or four to go, and you're going for it in midfield? I think you've got to. I think you've got to change the momentum of this football game right now. Lotting up under center. Johnson in motion. Hands it off, and Washington is grabbed. 
grabbed and dropped for a loss in the backfield. There's a flag late. I'm telling you, that is something. That uh, play really didn't have that much um, ingenuity to it, did it? Flag down. You got to have seven. Throw the thing for four anyway. Penalty will be against the Trojans. The Bruins will refuse it and take the foot. Dead ball. Personal foul against oh, USC. 15 yards. Well, First dead down. Ball makes UCLA. A difference. They're going to walk off 15 yards from where it went down. So from the Bruin 47, they're going to take 15 and take it all the way back down to Trojan 38 yards. You can see him bring both their inside linebackers right there. And the penalty's on Larry Parker down here at the bottom of the screen. Watch Parker throw the defensive back, Gidry, right into Terry Donahue's lap. That's what the 15 was on. Well, that's quite a gamble by Robinson. I think he had to do it, to be honest well, I, with you. I would question the play call. Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with you on that. Especially when you're bringing those inside backers. 21 to nothing, Bruins lead, and with 5.32 to go, could very easily put this game well out of reach. Send everybody looking for the record book. Hand off, Ayers gets tripped up. If he had him, he went by him. And it was good enough to knock Ayers down, but he got back to the line of scrimmage. Call it second and ten. If the Bruins put it in the end zone for another score and take a 27, 28 nothing lead, everybody will be at the record book to see just how what's the biggest margin. You got to go back to Howard Jones. What about 72 to something? Wasn't it? Yeah, something like you that. You remember? You were back there. I, I redshirted that year, but I remember it. 76 nothing. Dennis Manishian, <laughs> who remembers everything. Yes, he does. Dennis Benicia is CNN, UP, AP, everything rolled into one. Oh, boy. Tip, almost complete, almost intercepted. Heron hit it, almost caught, and then almost intercepted again. Third and ten. Back at the third. First time, uh, the last game of the year, 11 years ago, was against a religious school from South Bend. And SC was down 24 to 6 in that. Yes. What was the name of that club you want me to join again? The Optimist Club? That's right. Was that 21 years ago? It just seems like it. <laughs> 74 to 95. It is indeed. Third down. McDowell to pass. Throws it. Intercepted. Picked off by McCutcheon. He is at the 35 to 40. Look Needs out. Blocks. Look Fixed out, baby. At the 40. Got out and run another man. Fakes him. Out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. 46 yards. There's a momentum changer. Well, you know, we have talked and heaped a lot of praise on that kid. And he is a magnificent talent. And I tell you, how quickly, once he got that football, did he revert to his days as an offensive player and really came right back down the field, didn't he? Catches him in the zone. He's going to try to throw the out route right there. And he laid back in his zone, stayed right where he's supposed to stay, stay home, and now his instincts take over. He makes the run, head for the nearest sideline, and that's where he's going. You know, I don't know but what he should have tried, McDonough. Yeah. I don't know how good of tackler Cade is, but Cade wouldn't let him get to the end zone. Well, that move by Cade, I wouldn't guess he's a real good tackler. He looked like he had a seizure there. First down at the 17. Pass complete to Keyshawn at the 10, down to the 9. Going to be second about, oh, two yards to go. There he is. Got a smile, knocking the birds out of the trees, too. That oh, doesn't he? Yep. Here's a reverse angle of it. And you can see him. He just lays back in the zone, lay back in the zone, don't get beat deep. Oh, yeah, I got it now, baby. Well, the second, they're going to check and see if uh, Keyshawn got the first down. Well, the second time now, the Trojans have been down at around or near the 10-yard line of UCLA. They've come away empty. The other time, they got to the 42 and came away empty. Well, any part of the ball is going to be first and goal at the 9. Somebody come back, baby! I grab He's happy. I saw Dad before the game, and he showed a little bit of his old dad moves there in the open field. You know, Lawrence McCutcheon was a heck of a back for the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah. Well, it is first and goal at the nine. Hot. Long count. Pitch. 
Washington dives somewhere near the five. Mark it in the six. Second and goal at that point. Well, he got that all on his own right there. Case, George Case, the three-year starter for UCLA, made a great play coming to the outside. And I'll tell you, right down here, down top, when you're down 21 to nothing, your thinking changes. I got four downs to make it instead of three. The interesting to see what sold out at the Coliseum totals fan wise. Oh my, that should have been a flag. I mean, who was offside? Yeah, it looked I, to me like the Bruins were in the backfield before. Oh yeah, Mike was he? Oh, it huh. wasn't even close. I mean, well, we'll wait and see how the officials saw it, but it certainly looked like defensive offside to me. I'll tell you who called it right there. The guy with the L on his back, Fred Gallagher, old Eagle Eye. He caught that one. Well, we'll see. The big discussion for defense offside or encroachment is going to be against uh, who? UCLA, I guess. Dead ball. False start on the offense. There is no play. There is no play. Well, if it's a false start on the offense, dead ball, why would they? No play. They're going to walk it back. See, I don't understand that. Because of that new rule, if you get into the encroachment area and an offensive lineman moves, it's on the defense. That's the new rule this year. Well, maybe your friend Fred hadn't heard about that. Well, that could be too. It's going to be second and goal back at the 11. The Trojans continue to destruct. The Bruins have had the ball five times and have scored on three of those occasions. SC has had the ball, hasn't scored. Here they are with a second and goal at the 11. to the five and he got drilled well, UCLA did a good job there obviously they've done their homework because think of all the games Tom when SC gets down there they're going to go to Barnum right UCLA plays a zone on him right here Gendry comes off and makes the play I think it was Colbert was it Colbert yeah Number 10, Colbert comes up. Well, you can right see him there. They went to the zone. They're not going to play. But had he missed him, why McCullough was there and two, three other guys. So it is third and goal for SC at the Bruin five yard line. 21 nothing. UCLA lead. Left side of the field is wide open. Wide open. Wide open. End zone. Touchdown. Nick Williams. Oh, was Brad out and patient there, wasn't he? <laughs> Side. You know, it's unbelievable that uh, maybe we're too critical, I don't know. But you know, from the hash mark left, 30 yards of that field didn't have a player on it. Right, you see, McWilliams come from the top of your screen. And if it's zone defense, he's going to try to come out here to the right to Keyshawn. But if you get the zone, then you hit your tight end in the seam of that zone. And that's where Johnny McWilliams received the football. And the extra point makes it 21 to 7 as the Trojans finally with 234 left in the first half get on the scoreboard. SC Trent, 21 to 7 and Ott is going to throw it right into your living room. 21 to 7 UCLA McCutcheon's interception returns it to the 17 and from there Otten hits McWilliams with a touchdown toss. Back now, Ayers and uh, McElroy awaiting the football for UCLA. And the kickoff. Into the end zone, and it'll be downed and brought out to the 20. McElroy uh, electing not to run it out. There's another look at the touchdown. Well, USC calls this their cluster. There's three receivers to his right. If it's man to man, he's going to go there. If he sees zone, then he's looking for his tight end, Johnny McWilliams, in one of the seams of that zone, and he threw it right on the money. You know, after that uh, interception by McCutcheon, Tom, uh, Terry Dunning charged down to his offensive coordinator, Bob Toledo, and I don't think they were making plans for Thanksgiving. Bruins have it on their own 20, leading 21 to 7. And off to the tailback. Going anywhere. Flag, they're going to oh, get they a, give a face, face mask. mask. They will. Oh. They tackled Ayers in there to make the stop was Bonds, but they will nail SC with a face mask.
Five yard face mask foul against the defense. Five yards, repeat first down. That'll make it uh, first and five at the 25. Well, you know, I know what that rule's for, but I just run it by and sort of just gives you a little patty kick thing. First and five, Bruins, the ball on the UCLA 25-yard line. They lead 21 to 7. And the ball, this is the sixth time they've scored five times. They give this one to Eric Finds a hole and slides out very close to the 25, 35-yard line. It's good, of course, for a first down. Knight comes up to make the stop. Ayers is a very patient running back, although he hasn't done much of that. He waits to find out where Ogden, Christensen, and the rest of those guys roam and finally get them made a hole and kind of walks into it and then takes off. There's Ayers again. Dropped as he gets uh, nailed uh, hit him by Russell as he came across from the right side defensively. Mark it out at the 38. Gain of three, second and seven. That Ogden, he, he probably will be the first offensive lineman taken in the NFL draft. I mean, he's a big guy. He's smart. In fact, this whole offensive line at UCLA, their GPA is 3.0. Yep. They've been holding hands together over there for five years. they down to throw it. Now going to run it. Now throws it incomplete. So it'll be third and seven, but the clock now stopping with a minute 23 to go. He's got all the all the things you look for. He probably win that darn thing. Well, the Lombardi or the Outland Trophy. Uh, Simeon Rice of Illinois is an outstanding player too. Hey, Brucey's not bad either. I Brucey. Think, well, Brucey, I think. You know, I don't need to denigrate his talents or concern. I think he's an overachiever. Oh, yeah. I think these other guys are just. Third down. There's a little shovel. Ayers going to have the first down and more. He'd run that little shovel pass. That handoff out of the shotgun. First and ten. Ayers takes it out to the Bruin 42-yard line. You know, it's always been a tough play to defend because you, you tell your outside backers to come up the field, rush the quarterback. Once he sees that, he dumps it up inside. Your inside backers are dropping into their zones, and you've got a lane to run the football. But runs that good. Ought to put it in the SC playbook. <laughs> Back to pass. McDowell going downfield, and it's incomplete. Had it not been tipped a little bit, it would have been intercepted again, this time by Micah Phillips. Clock shows 59 seconds left in this first half. Second and 10 at the 42. Here he is. He wants to go deep on the post pattern. It was a safety blitz by Sammy Knight. And he forced him to unload that thing a whole lot sooner than he wanted to. McBride is flanked wide to the left. Another safety blitz. Here's Davis trying to on that handoff on the sweep. A lot of people in there making the uh, stop for the Trojans. Knight led the way, and Kennedy was there. That clock is running down to 41 seconds. The Bruins, I don't think, are in any big-time hurry at their own 49-yard line with a third down and about nine. On the sweep, there's Ayers, and he going to be short of the first down at the Trojan 45. Knight going across the field to make the stop. And we've got 18 seconds left, and the timeout has been taken by the Trojans, I believe. No, nope, Bruins take it. Fourth down, and about three at the 45. What would you do? Huh? I... Half-back pass. <laughs> Why not? You know what? If it's no good, you've got about three seconds left on the clock, and if it is good, you got another seven points. With the success they've had on the sweep, I think that Coach Kelly, that's a heck of a call. Run the sweep this way. I'm not interested in the first down. No. You know, what have I got to lose? I'm leading by 21 to 7. I've got 15, 18 seconds. 
I can misdirect you two, three times and throw a halfback pass. It's going to use up 10 of those or 15 of them. You're right. You're you might get the ball back on your 45 with eight seconds to go. You're playing with house money right now. That's what I do, too. Go for the bundle. And if I don't have anything, I'm not going to get hurt. Well, some kind of a little uh, trick em up play, one kind or another. I certainly wouldn't run it into the line unless uh, Bobby Toledo has lost his imagination or Terry Donahue is uh, not concerned with getting any more points in this. You know, why waste a play? I would, uh, I would take advantage of it. Well, the coach in that last shot uh, to the left of Terry Donahue is Bobby Field, the defensive coach. And you know what he was saying to him? Coach, take a knee. Let's get out of here. Well, <laughs> but I don't think he's got anything to lose. I don't. Either. I really don't. I don't need it. And if you throw it deep enough, even if it is picked off, it takes a heroic effort to bring it back down to where SC could get the points on it. I'll tell you, Coach Robinson, he's trying to figure out what they're going to do, too. And he says, hey, let, let's give us one more shot. Got to get the ball back before they do anything. Well, they're sending all those receivers out there. Melby's coming out. Jordan's out there. Fourth down. The I formation. And now I'm rolling, looking, looking, gonna run it. And he's out of bounds for the first down at the Trojan 40, and there's nine seconds left. Well, Coach Kelly, they listened to you. He was gonna try to go deep. Yeah, if you can throw it fine if you can. Run it for the first down. He's got that. Nothing's lost. He can still do that. They don't trick him up the play. And USC had a safety blitz. Sammy Knight got penetration in the backfield and just didn't make the play on McNow. And if it doesn't happen, why, he still has got a nice little pickup and some nice yardage in the statistics sheet. Oh, yeah, he's working on his average. You know, you have to maintain that scholarship. Where's West Wind? Is that your point? Uh, no, it's south of Portland, between Corvallis and Portland, and a little east. West Wind is a little east. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta love that. Gotta love that. Dave, you know the territory. Dave could down to throw, looking deep, looking deep, gonna run, gonna get dropped. And with two seconds, one second, the first half is over. The first half is in the well, there's one second left. Somebody took time out. McDown. Larry made the stop. Well, why not? Well, there's one play left to go in the half. 21 to 7. Bruins lead. So with one second left, I would imagine McDowell is in the shotgun and going to throw this puppy. He's back to pass. He's looking. Steps up, turns and loose. Oh, he's got a great arm. In the end zone. Almost complete. Knocked away. Are you Boy, sure? Kid is, kid's got a great arm. Boy, you you're not hooked up to their bench. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stating the obvious. 21 to 7. Bruins lead at halftime. We'll be back. You're We're gonna have about to start. Take a look at the first half statistics brought to you by Toyota. 15 first downs to 13. Trojans have an edge there, but nowhere else. Total yards 258 to 144. One turnover. That was the interception by McCutcheon. Total plays. Nine more for the Bruins and 14 more points. And we're set for the second half kickoff now. UCLA will kick off to USC. Andrew Zick will be um, kicking off for UCLA. And the second half kickoff is brought to you by Coors. Tap the rocket. Try the beer from up here. Andrusik to kick off, and for the Trojans, waiting for the football, Miller and Volsang. And the kickoff, very high, very deep. Miller at the three, to the five and the ten. Breaks the tackle on his own, brought down from behind, conceivably a touchdown saving tackle, engineered by number 29 for the Bruins, or Smith might have been. Dashing his way into the end zone. What an exciting kickoff. Aaron Roquez was there to make the stop. First and 10 SC, and the ball will be at the Trojan 28 yard line. 
Brad Auten starting the second half for the Trojans. Auten starts and pitches it back to Washington, trying to turn the corner, gets a couple to about the 32. Well, I tell you, there's a great block by John Michaels there. That was old student body left there, and John Michaels, number 77, just made a great block. Gain of four, maybe five. It'll be second and five at the 33-yard line. Otten, the quarterback, 21-7, Bruins lead. I wonder what the guy in the middle majors in, Tom. Painting? <laughs> Play action fake. Otten to throw. Down field all had Keyshawn Johnson wide open and missed him. I mean, missed him big. Oh. Those are the kind that just kill you as a quarterback when you know you got somebody running free and you overshoot it. Six of ten for Otten today. One touchdown. That one to McWilliams. The only one the Trojans have scored. Had Keyshawn Johnson wide open. That is man beaten. Going in full stride. Third and five. Otten. Pass complete to Johnson at midfield. Otten seemed to wait an awful long time to complete that 18-yarder. Well, thanks to his offensive line, he had that time to waste. Uh, UCLA went to a three-man rush and played a two-deep zone. Let's see if we get another look at this. Watch him rush three people right here, and they're playing a zone defense. Their middle linebackers are getting deep. Keyshawn's going to hit the seam between the backers and the safety net. Wide open was Rodney Sermons. Unfortunately, fortunately for the Trojans, he didn't throw it to Sermons. 77 yards and seven carries. Because Rodney didn't run a five-yard pattern. No, he didn't. First down in midfield. Play action fake. Otten steps up. Going to run it. And he's going to get to about the 45-yard line before he is mauled and hammered down. We'll mark it at the 46. It'll be second and six after a gain of four. Stop before the ball came loose. Well, when you have nothing as a quarterback, uh, don't be running sideways. Get what you, you can get up the field and get down. Get out of there. Ball is at the Bruin 46-yard line. Bennett comes up to make the stop. Let's see what happened. Uh, no, uh, he was down. Yeah, and his team. forward progress. Once the forward progress is stopped, the, the, they start blowing the whistle. At the 46, second and six. SC down, 21 to seven. Otten gets hit, throws. Oh my! Lucky that was short. Huh? George Case down there, number 59, saying, I had him down. Put it back here. Well, and Case probably is right. No, he didn't catch it. It's short hop. You can yeah. see it bounce into his arm. But I'm telling you that uh, for Otten to throw a pass like that is ridiculous. No, well, when you throw it away, throw it out of bounds or out of the end zone. Throw you it away. You don't throw it in the middle of the field. Throw it over to Terry Donahue. Throw it over to John Robinson. Throw it any place but straight up the middle half-heartedly. Third down. Big play. Blitz. Pass. Complete. Tee shot. Nailed. It's going to be very close. Will depend on the spot. It's going to be short. Well, I don't know. Any part well, of the ball. You know what, Tom? I think you're right. It could be a first down. Any part of the ball. Right here is what pro scouts look at. You know, he can run. He's got size. But right here, hanging onto a football when you get stuck like that. I mean, Gidry hit him like a, you know, runaway train. See where they mark it. Then they'll bring the chain out. I'm any part of the ball. I'm giving it to you. You called it way ahead of time. Well, I don't know about that. No, any part of it, it's going to be first down. It's amazing how you can see from up here. First down at the Bruin 40 and just by a whisker. That's he trailing 21 to 7. The risk of overstating the obvious, they must put this football in the end zone and get seven points with this drive. 
First down at the Bruin 40-yard line. 21-7 UCLA. Otten on the delay gives it to Sermons, who gets hit and dropped in the 30. And to make the tackle, Kersky, big number 98. Stretz, number 77. Stretz was there as well. Boy, he's a big son of a gun, too. I'll tell you, it's interesting this first series of downs, Tommy. UCLA's changed their thinking on defense. They've ta taken uh, McCullough from the inside and moved him back out in their normal 4-3 defense, and they're playing a two-deep zone. They're, looks like they're respecting USC's pass and saying the heck with the run. They marked it at the 39. I might have given them the 38. I thought he got the extra yard. And Keyshawn Johnson is calling timeout. 21 to 7. Bruins lead. Third quarter action here at the Coliseum. Number 35 to go in period number three. Trojans on a bit of a drive. We'll be back. They're headed for Pasadena. This crowd would love to see him head for the Bruin end zone. On the reverse, give it no. Back to throw is Otten. And he gets buried. They'll mark it back at the 50. Travis Kersky stayed right at home. Well, you can see what they're going to try to do here. Is the Explain same thing. it to me. It was the same thing UCLA tried to score on. It's going to run a post pattern. And what they're going to try to do is fake the run inside, hand the ball back. Oh, yeah, it's a reverse. No, I'm going to keep it. He stayed right there. And that's what you tell defensive linemen. Stay at home and do your job. And Travis Kersky did. Third down and about a mile. At least 20. too long and is hit and drops the ball and Phelan Pounds falls on him. Uh, George Case, number 59, is the man that caused it. Right there. I'd say he's a three-year starter for UCLA and he's a heck of a football player. Watch him, watch him come hard from the top of your screen right here. Beats Norberto Burrito right there. Comes up inside and Actually, he beats Phelan Pound, so Pound, you better fall on that football because you just got beat, pal. Time to kick it away. Big rush put on Stonehouse, who hits it, and it's a beauty. And the 10-yard line. Hit and dropped at the 12-yard line. Make it the 15 up to the 17-yard line. Seven yards return. Bruins will have it first and 10 at that point. the first three times they had their hands on the football. The 21 nothing lead. Third quarter, they've had a big time of it. But in recent weeks, the second half has been like a nightmare for Coach Terry Donahue and his Bruins. They've had terrible times. They were up by 17 at Arizona State. Remember, play action. Down the throw, running throws, tipped in the air. Intercepted. Quincy Harrison, and I think they're going to give it to SC. Boy, it was a sideline toenail grab. <laughs> this game looks like it was played in Redondo Beach. That looked like a volleyball game on the sand. SC gets the football. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that something good will happen because SC has the ball. However, the other point of reference is the next, the last time SC got an interception, they took it in. Here it is, bootleg to the left. Good tip there. Can't quite see the number, but I think it was Eric Heron. Now look at Quincy Harrison get up in the air. Does he get it? Well, they showed it for Sammy Knight. It's one of the two, but a great job by Heron. At the 34-yard line, can SC turn this break into something? Straight ahead, Washington to the 30. And he is hit and stopped by Donnie Edwards there. Well, USC got the ball in the four down zone inside the 40, so you got that extra down to work with. Here's UCLA from the reverse angle coming out on the boot. Let's see Heron. He gets a hand up, pops the ball in the air. Watch Harrison get, get up. That's great concentration. And boy, he wraps it up and keeps a foot in. Boy, that is, whoa, that's a great play. Second and six at the 30. SC trying to narrow the gap here. Play action, out to throw, rolling, throws, pass complete. And Barnum is out of bounds and about, oh, very close to a first down. 
near the 24. There's old Bernsey. Keith Burns, the defensive coaches. That's a way to go. That's what we've been talking about. Let's make something happen on defense. Uh, let's be honest. Now, coaches are over there saying, you know, guys, there's a scholarship at stake here. <laughs> My job. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> yeah, you've got to explain it to them, Tom. It is a first down. Barnum wrestled out of bounds. First and 10 at the 24. Oh, yes. You must explain it to them. Sometimes it doesn't always sink in. Wide left, Miller and Johnson. Otten, the quarterback at the Bruin, 23 and a half. Gives the ball to Washington, up the middle, nice fake. Still on his feet, down. Bruins have the football, Washington coughs it up. At the 10-yard line, Johnson is saying he's down, but the argument is not going to be won by Keyshawn Johnson. McWilliams is down there. With him is Chris Miller. They're all talking about it. it well, a, you take a look and tell me if he was down when the ball came loose. That was a great call because UCLA had a safety blitz on. Good running so far. Great blocking at the point of the attack. Let's see what happens. Boy. I don't know how they... Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Well, that, two interceptions and a fumble. Now tossed in by the Trojans. Let's see if we can really see it right well, here. Well, the crowd is reacting to what they see up on the screen. You tell me, was he down? Oh, oh yes. he's down. That, he's down boy. by quite a bit. That's why you hear all those boos. That is a miserable. Play. Down, hands off, trying to come outside. Beautiful. Milliner turns the corner beautifully as the Trojans overreact, run right by him, and he carries it out to the 21 yard line. Look at this. They say a ground can't not cause a fumble. Watch this. Is he down? Both of his knees are down. And how did Robinson think about it? Yeah. That was before he saw the replay. That's why he has white hair. It'll be first down for the Bruins at the 21 when they bring it chain across. Dennis thinks they're short. Like I said, it's going to be just second down an inches. Got to coach Mike Perry, the offensive line on, coach. And I don't know why he's Break getting on him a little bit here Break because down. those guys opened up a heck of a hole. That, that was a, a great blocking at the point of attack. 8.44. Time is an item to be considered even though this is still the third quarter. The Trojans have printed away two good opportunities here in this third period. goes in motion. McDown gives the ball to his fullback and he falls forward for the first down. Caldwell stopped by Kennelly, but he's got the first down at the 22-yard line. Bruins scored the first three times they had the football. Trojans wasted a couple of big-time opportunities. And now they've wasted still another as they give up the football on the Bruin 11. First down, UCLA. Akiboy in motion. Rolling is McDown. Going to throw it. Going to run with it. Chased by Russell and dropped it to 25. Russell catches him from behind. It'll be second and seven after a gain of three. And Darrell Russell showed his speed. Watch him. Just to the left of the, of the right guard there. Watch him come out. Now that's 310 pounds running a young quarterback down from behind. McDowell's doing the right thing here. He's thrown a couple of interceptions already. Hey, if I don't have anything, I'll take what I can get and get out of here. 21 to 7, Bruins lead, third quarter. McDowell changing up. Trojans show blitz, and they come, uh, they're given handoff airs, and Sammy Knight ran right by him. Coming up to make the tackle is McCutcheon. Sammy Knight ran right by the ball carrier, coming out of blitz. You know, that, that's, that's the hardest thing about a safety blitz for a safety man, Tom. It's like taking a dog off his leash. He's going to run like crazy, but then where do I go now?
Watch Sammy coming at the bottom of your screen right here. Whoops. Well, see what he's thinking is his play action pass. He was going to try to get McNown. Third down and five at the Bruin 27. Out of the shotgun. McNown running, going to run with it, gets hit, spun around and dropped. Knight makes up for his miscue of a moment ago with a bone-jarring tackle just shy of the 30. Putting situation for the Bruins. The Trojans, uh, the defense has suddenly come to play. The offense still continues to self-destruct. Well, the defense has done their part this early going in the second half, but <laughs> the offense, like you always say, it's time for them to come to the party. Sailor to kick it away. Had a beauty the first time. And hits another. Oh, what a nice kick. Oh, -ho, what a nice kick. Parker watches it bounce and go out of bounds at the Trojan 13-yard line. 57 yards for Chris Saylor. That is some kind of fun. 21-7, Bruins lead. We'll be back. Well, first and 10 SC, the ball on the Trojan 13-yard line. 21-7, Bruins lead. Out in the quarterback. Quick out to Keyshawn Johnson. Oh, did at he make the move? Five, great move. Ball is dropped on the ground. Bruins have it. <laughs> Bruins knocked it loose. This time a legitimate fumble, no matter what the Trojans might think. The one before was questionable, but this is a very legitimate takeaway. Second time the Trojans have had the ball in this series, second fumble. There's Keyshawn on the quick hitch, and it actually a slight screen to him. The tackle, John Michaels, has come out. This is what happens when you're a big-time player. You try to make it the big play by yourself. Put the ball away and protect it. Let's see who busts it loose. Whoa. He got stuck. That was Donnie Edwards holding him up. Ball is at the uh, Trojan 26-yard line. The Bruins with a golden opportunity, except that number 88 decided he would pick on a Trojan across the way, and that's a grieve, and he Good just ball. took one big ball step start forward. On the offense, first and 15. That'll move it back to make it first and 15. Back at the 37-yard uh, line. You know, USC's been playing great defense here early in the second half, but they really got to do it now, obviously. Obviously, they've got to play it. Nobody feels worse than that guy right there, Keyshawn Johnson. But big-time players make big-time plays. First Bruin penalty of the afternoon. First down at their own at the Trojan 32-yard line. McNown hands it off. Ayers finds a hole and sprints into the secondary, down to the 21. Hutchin trips him up. Second and four at the 21 yard line. Second down from the 21. They've got to get to the 17 for a first down. Here's again hit behind the line and dropped. About the 23 yard line. Ippiani was there first. Cusano. I'll tell you, the guy that made the play again was Sammy Knight. Uh, USC had a safety blitz coming and he made Aaron break it back inside. He wanted to run to the outside and he made him take it back inside to where all the friendly linebackers are. Third down and six at the 23 yard line. Back to throw, fires it out, pass complete to his fullback. Heron has him, but not till he has a first down at about the 16-yard line. Caldwell made the catch. Heron ran him down and out of bounds, but he had the first down, I believe. Moving the chains. Looking at UCLA's uh, offense right there. Let's take a look at it. You see Knight right here, number nine, top of the screen. SC's in a five defensive back set, so they're bringing Knight, and the person that's open is your fullback, Caldwell. That means the linebacker, Heron, has to cover him, 
And Eric Heron gets here, but just a tad late. UCLA had the right call. Looks like he just got the wind knocked out. Yeah, landed on the football. Remember the old UCLA trainer, Ducky Drake? I do indeed. Yeah, how many times did he run across that field to pick up an old drawing? Or even the young bird. Yeah. Well, they loved him over there. They finally named the track field after him. First down, UCLA. The ball is at the Trojan 16-yard line. UCLA has uh, recovered two Trojan fumbles. The last two times SC had the football. They lead 21 to 7, and four and a half minutes remain in the third quarter. Delay the give to Ayers, trying to cut back, and he gets dropped at the line of scrimmage. Heron was there. Ibiani. And coming up also, Michael Phillips. Little or no gain, it's going to be second about 10. You know, Tom, USC's linebackers, Heron and Fields, are doing a great job because of the ball handling of McNown. You never know, as a linebacker, do I go with the sweep or do I have to come back on the bootleg with him? And they're, they're reading it just perfectly right now. But those figures uh, tell how well the Bruins run the ball when number 33, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, is there. Today they've done right well, but not nearly in that same uh, area. Yard shine. There's the handoff to Ayers, but Nick Maroon finds it. Gets a block and is dropped as he gets inside the 10. Phillips brings him down. They're going to mark it at the 9 yard line. He's going to make it third down and three. Now you're coaching against Terry Donahue, Tom Kelly. What are you looking for from Coach Donahue right now? I don't know. I know what I'm looking for from my defense. Well, I'll tell you, if you're playing Terry Donahue, he's going to run the football right now because the field goal will make you score three times to beat. Tell you what I would do. I would be right inside McDown's cap the minute he took that snap. Oh, boy. Ippiani came across, got back. It's McDown rolling, looking to throw fires at end zone. No good. Terry was very out of character on that call. <laughs> Well, I tell you, the Trojans are extremely fortunate that Ippiani was able to get back without McNown snapping that ball. There he is, bootleg coming to his right. And he really put some mustard on it. That oh, ball yeah. should have been caught. That's right. And it was Melsby who got nailed right up alongside the helmet. All right, this will be 27 yards. Relatively easy uh, chip shot for Merton. One of the premier field goal kickers. 21-7 Bruins looking to make it 24. And Merton's missed it. Well, how about that? <laughs> he must well, have... Abrams missed one earlier. Merton's misses one now. Trojans have fumbled twice. Bruins have had two interceptions, but UCLA leads. We'll be back right after this. It's hard on us, you know. It's the stop and go. You yeah. never stop. Traffic can be tough. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You gotta sort of stay on top of it. It's tough being a cab, but uh, when you get that Chevron with Tecron, you know, it helps keep my engine clean. clean. Because it's a dirty job. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to do it. <laughs> all help. No gasoline cleans your engine better than Chevron with Tecron. Chevron, simply smarter. I fantasize about Europe. The drivers over there are crazy, man. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Having your car stolen can be a real blow. You work hard for these things. That's why Farmers Insurance is all about getting things back to the way they once were. From the way policies are written to the way claims are handled, everything we do is about getting you back behind the wheel. It's what we think auto insurance should be about. Let's face it, if somebody really wants your car, they're going to get it. But with Farmers, we can at least help get you back where you belong. The road looks level, but your car suddenly strains like it's going uphill. Could be your transmission slipping. This is problem a mountain or a molehill. Stay cool. The expert technicians at Amco Centers have state-of-the-art diagnostic tools to straighten things out. And half the cars serviced by Amco Centers don't need a new transmission. So if your car feels like it's going uphill, bring it to someone who's on the level. Amco, AA, MCO. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. Well, 21-7. Trojans take over. Hand off with it. 
Amon Washington is up over the 25 to about the 26. It um, would appear that the Bruins are willing to give SC this football game. It would also appear that USC could care less about taking it. Yeah, right now, let's football. hope they take advantage of this thing right now. Second down and about four. Parker and Johnson are flanked wide to the left. The quarterback is on third quarter with 2.23 to go. And SC down by 14. Pass of Parker at the 30. Takes it up to about the 33 and has a first down. Hey, what's impressed me about UCLA today is their secondary, Tom. Even though they're giving up the short pass to you, they tackle you. SC's trying to catch the ball and make the long run. UCLA secondary is doing a great job of tackling. First down for the Trojans at their own 33, almost the 34. 21 to 7, UCLA. Hot in the quarterback. Washington trying to run outside and does. Running hard, takes it for a first down at the 45. 12 more yards. He's got 69 and 16 carries. For the Bruins shaking up on the play. There it is. It's the counter tray, or the gap, as SC calls it. Pulling Kyle Ramsey, John Michael. And here's why I think Washington's a great back. He's going to be a great back. He wants to make up for that fumble, and I'll tell you, he ran extremely hard in that case, and he had both hands on the football when he went down. Had a birthday a week ago in his best game ever against Oregon, Oregon State. State. Yeah, he's all at 20 years old now. He is just 25 yards short of 1,000 yards rushing, which would put him right there with some truly outstanding running backs. The last of the Trojans to do it was Basio Royster. First one was Borley Drewrin. 1,000 yards in the season. And then you've got a long gap to you come across Iron Mike Garrett. There's Rodney Sermon taking it over midfield to the Bruin 48. It's going to be a gain of seven, second and three at about the 48 yard line. How was it doing Morley Drury's game? Morley was the noblest Trojan of them all. And I've got to tell you something. For those of you who never saw him, Morley was a giant size. He was man. a big guy. Enormous. Broad shouldered jackrabbit on a long beach pocket. See what they do on the gap play here. Watch him pull Ramsey 68. He kicks out on Case. Then you lead up inside with your tackle, John Michaels. And that's a big old tackle running like a guard. Minute to go here in the third quarter. SC has frittered away a couple of scoring opportunities. Delon Washington takes it very close to the first down at the Bruin 44. Uh, it's going to be the 45. And I think the man over on this side, the head linesman or the line judge, is signaling first down. This is vintage John Robinson offense right here. He doesn't panic. We're not going to throw the ball in every down. We're going to wear you down, wear you down, and keep running at you. And then every once in a while, we're going to throw it. Well, I was wrong. He signaled, I thought, going that way. Instead, they marked it down to this third and in inches at the Bruin 45. Half a minute remaining here in the third period. SC down 21 to 7. Washington outside, inside, on his feet, still on his feet at the 30, 25, 20, out of bounds, down around the 13-yard line. Oh, I love that. On third and short. You know, I hate to say it, but have you noticed how much better Washington is doing running outside, just past the end, on the slant? There it is. That's great line play by the USC offense. Off tackle play. You block down with your tight end, your tackle, your guard, kick out with your fullback, and I'll tell you, he's hungry right now. 33 yards on that carry. He is over 1,000. He has 104 yards and 18 carries. And the Trojans, once again, are knocking at the door. What was the old song? Open the door, Richard. <laughs> at the Bruin 13. This time, Rodney Sermons to the four. Hey, when you're getting nine and ten a crack, baby, you're blocking them. It'll be first and goal, I think. Well, no, it's going to be second and one at the four-yard line. 21-7, three periods in the books. And the Trojans come back as they have in recent weeks. We're 15 minutes away from finding out. 
At Home Base, you know our everyday low prices are low. Well, this week they're going even lower. You'll save with base buys throughout the store. So whatever your project is, hurry in today. Go to the base, Home Base, where prices aren't just low, they're lower. At Home Base, you know our everyday low prices are low. Well, this week they're going even lower. You'll save with base buys throughout the store. So whatever your project is, hurry in today. Go to the base, Home Base, where prices aren't just low, they're lower. You know, people are always asking me, what's it like to run Jack in the Box? I tell them, it's great. I have a corner office, terrific employees, a nice little jet, and products I believe in. Like my 99 cent chicken sandwich. It's a crispy chicken sandwich with fresh lettuce and tomato, and now it's just 99 cents. But you know what I like best about running a company? No matter how crazy my ideas are, I still get to do them. We're bringing you back from the future to show you how much you'll be missing if you wait any longer to get the Jeep you've always wanted. Because it's the time of year that only comes once a year. The California Jeep Clearance. With the best deals you may ever get on all 97 Jeep vehicles, including the legendary Jeep Wrangler, the affordable new Cherokee, and the classic Grand Cherokee. You'll never have a better selection, but you'd better hurry. The 97 California Jeep Clearance ends August 31st. And it's only at your California Jeep and Eagle dealers. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. 21-7, Trojans threatening DeLon Washington, 1,016 yards on 210 carries. Joins a very illustrious group, Drury, Garrett, The Juice, Ricky Bell, Marcus Allen, Anthony Davis, Charlie White, Maisie Royster. Who went and played for a hundred years with the Oakland Raiders? Great oh. running back. Did he? I'll tell you, just think of a Come guy. on, who? Just think. Oh, Clarence Davis. I recruited him out of East L.A. Junior College. I just wanted college. to say it. Nobody even talks about Clarence Davis. Oh, he was a great Trojan. He was. And he was left-handed. Did you know that? No. Yes. I never saw him throw a pass. So <laughs> That's why I'm the color guy. I give you all these <laughs> tidbits, you know? Isn't it interesting? Clarence was left-handed. <laughs> Second and about a yard to go at the four. Second and goal at the four. Sermons gets the yard as he takes it down to about the two-yard line. It'll be first and goal at the two. Donnie Edwards, number 23, one of several Bruins in on the stop. This is the point in the game where your offensive line loves it. They got four downs to go three yards. And they're looking at you as the quarterback in the huddle saying, let's run at it. Lots of pretty girls in Southern California, whether they're in Westwood or at USA. Washington walks into the end zone. Walks into the end zone. Oldest play in football. The off-tackle play. Yep. Sure does beat that straight up the middle, doesn't, doesn't it? 21 to 13. Bruins continue to lead. Here's a reverse angle of it. Everybody's blocking down. You want to go to the inside? We'll take you down. We pull our guard, Kyle Ramsey. Kick out with a fullback, and you walk in. Abrams to try the extra point. 80-yard drive, nine plays, snap down. He hits it. It's up. 21-14 with 14 and a half minutes remaining in the football game. SCUCLA. Isn't it always this way? Right down to the final bit of action. You know, I've spent years trying to create the perfect club. And yet, with all that's in my garage, the finest example of craftsmanship isn't only on my shelf. It's on my car. Cooper Tires. The one place where performance is more important than on the golf course is on the road. Cooper Tires. Drive on. So, you want to see my Discover Card statement? I am very, very prissy. Put up or shut up! I love to be pampered. I go have my hair done. I love to go have my nails done, have pedicures, manicures. My biggest weakness would have to be shoes. Hmm. Cashback bonus award? really floats my boat. 
How many credit cards make a statement like that? I am definitely a shopaholic. It pays to discover. Use it where you see the Nova sign. Fox Sports News at 10. We are there. First, for the whole story. The San Diego Padres and St. Louis Cardinals made a big deal. I'm proud of this ball club. The fantastic finals. That's it for the locker room. Fox Sports News at 10. We are there. Live for all the latest home team updates. Let's go live to Detroit. To Pittsburgh. To the L.A. Sports Arena. Fox Sports News at 10. We are there. Why wait? Now that's incredible. First, fast, live. Fox Sports News at 10. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. 21 to 14. What a pretty little girl. What a pretty little girl. SC trails UCLA and our Trojan Athlete of the Week, junior pitching star Randy Flores, who's excelled both in the mound and on the classroom. Our congratulations to Randy, our Trojan Student Athlete of the Week. Young man has won 24 ball games and lost four in two years. Well, he got a curveball, Tom. Have you seen his curveball? Oh, yeah, he's a great pitcher and not a big guy. SC to kick off. Well, Galroy and Ayers is coming to Ayers at the four. To the 10, 15, gets hit, gets away, gets a block, turning on the far side. Going to be shoved out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. 39 yards. Trojans give the Bruins great field position. Kenny Haslip makes the push out. There's Washington, who's over 1,000 yards. 106 yards and 19 carries, a touchdown. Now, the Bruins have gained only 81 yards since they scored their third touchdown early in the ballgame. And McNown is only two of nine and has had two intercepted in that span. So they have pushed the Bruins back to the 43. What a block in the middle of the back on that, on the return. Still a great return by Ayers. First down. And the handoff, and Milliner finds an opening and is down the far side. He has hit and brought down a touchdown saving tackle by Davis. 28 yards. And you talk about a defense making a big time mistake. Well, it's the same play that USC scored on. Let's see if we get another look at it. It's the off tackle play to the right. Everybody blocks down. They kick out with Caldwell, their fullback. Heron he falls down. down. He breaks inside Heron there. And Jesse Davis, this is not an easy play. You catch one of their ace backs in the open field like that. That's a great open field tackle. Heron might have had a shot at him, but he slipped and fell. Bruins have a first down at the Trojan 29. They lead by seven. McDown straight back to throw. Set, dumps it off, almost intercepted. If Bianni had his hands all over it, and if he just closed his hands together, well, you know, soccer players don't handle the ball with their hands. He gets up, but actually, McDowell is fortunate that Ifiani blocks this thing because Cusano, number four, the linebacker, comes out. He's on Caldwell. I wondered when UCLA was going to finally go to a screen or a draw or a delay type thing that Washington used against SC and so did Notre Dame. Second and ten at the 29. Bruins have the ball in a seven-point lead with 14 minutes to play. They give it to Davis. On the sweep, gets hit and dropped. Great play by Sammy Knight who knifed in and threw Davis for a loss back at the 36-yard line. It'll be third and 17. Now they're calling it the 35, call it third and 16. There, there it is. It's a safety blitz again. It's not really a blitz. He recognizes it. He gets inside Kevin Jordan there, and this time he makes the play. He missed it early down by the goal line in the first half. But that is a big-time play because they're in marginal field goal position right now. If SC can make a play right now, Terry Donahue's going to think, do I go for the field goal or do I punt the football? Well, at any rate, UCLA is taking the timeout. 21 to 14. Bruins lead the Trojans. As he's trying to climb up off the Coliseum floor. Well, it is third down. And the ball is at the Trojan 35-yard line. 21 to 14, the Bruins lead. Somebody trying to hang a Bruin. Well, they've had those on camp.
snap us yeah. all week. But remember we were doing the show, a magazine show, yeah. Keyshawn had one on his knapsack. Yeah. Third down, big time, big play time. The Cowboy in motion. Caden now rolling back, dumps it back up. Caught by the tight end. And he's got room to run, but he didn't get the first down as he was turned upside down by Fields. And coming up also was Quincy Harrison, but field goal range at the 22-23 yard line. I'll tell you, Quincy Harrison did a great job. They're going to sprint McDown out. And so what they want to do is just like Notre Dame did. Make it look like they're sprinting the free receiver side to the right of the screen, then screen back to your tight end. Well, it's going to be a 38 yarder. 38, 39 yards. Walker will hold. Mertens to uh, Andrzak will try it. And the kick is on its way, and it is good. 24 to 14. The Bruins get three big ones, and we've got 12, 38 left to go. You see will kick off. Now the Trojans have uh, put it to where they've got to score twice. Actually, they've got to get a touchdown, a field goal, or two touchdowns to pull this up. Old San at the 10. 15, 20, 25. Ball tripped up. Crossing the 30, tripped up. Colbert. Defensive secondary man was right there to make the grab and a flag on the play. Probably an illegal block. Yep, isn't that always the case? On a foul, first down. Gonna move it down to the 18-yard uh, line. He's been assessed four penalties. UCLA one. It's a lot better than SC season average, to be honest with you. I wasn't going to bring that up. I did. Trojans will have the ball. First down on their own 18 yard line, and they're trailing by 10. Washington fights his way to the 24 yard line. Going to be second and four after a gain of six. Edwards making the stop. Tom, I'll bet you right now, this is what I've been observed in the second half here. UCLA is playing eight man front on first down. They're looking for the run. You watch right now. They'll be in a two deep zone and they're looking for pass. Second down and about four at the 24. And again, straight ahead, Washington, and he carries it for a first down at about the 29-yard line. Edwards makes the stop, and from here it appears to be a first and 10 at the 29. Shaken up on the play is Phelan Pounds. Phelan Pounds is down, and you know, since I mentioned bets, you know, Terry Donahue and I have a bet on this game. We have... You what? Well, we have a wager on this Oh, game. wait a minute. Oh, I hope... I hope the NCAA is not listening to this. <laughs> and we've done this. You and Donahue have a bet for a wager. For 25 years, we've done this. Oh, this is not a sometimes thing then. No, huh? and the winner picks the place for lunch, and the loser buys. So he's dined at Chasen's, the Ritz, you name all the expensive yep. places. He's even been to Julie's. Well, probably in Mufti. <laughs> I mean, wearing a hat, glasses, a beard, something. Yes, he did at Julie's. <laughs> probably didn't like the meal at all. The surroundings. <laughs> Actually, he gave me the devil that day because there were cameras out there, and he thought it was a TV crew shooting him. They were shooting a movie with the who was the, the guy, the, the baseball player that got all the uh, money, uh, Rooster somebody, Rooster's million. Yeah, they were shooting that there. And uh, anyway, Terry sat by the pool, and he liked you. He really enjoyed it. Four guys helped Phelan pounds up. Takes medical that staff. Gingerly walking off the field. Bowen will come in there, too, to come in and replace him. You know, seeing the doctor there in the white shirt walking behind him with the ball cap, Dr. Chester Semmel's been the team doctor since you started yes. broadcasting. And just and suffered the loss of his wife, yes, within the last 10 days. Watch Pounds. Watch Pounds right in the middle. Let's see what happens there. 
That's what always happens to an offensive lineman. Somebody rolls up on the back of your leg. It is first down at the 29-yard line. SC down by 10. Fourth quarter. Pass out to Johnson in the flat. Slipped by a tackler and takes it up to the 35-36 yard line. It'll be second down, a gain of about six, maybe the second and four at the 35. Time 11:27. A lot of it. If you're ahead, not enough if you're behind. SC, 293 yards. Bruins, 335. Keyshawn has caught 10 balls, 102 yards. Number one season receiver, single season in the Pac-10. Washington got the first down as he drags tacklers to the 39-yard line. Good block by Terry Barnum, number 29, 21. Number five. First down for the Trojans. That uh, leaves the clock with 11 minutes and one second remaining. SC has got a score with uh, alacrity here, I would think. Boy, that's a word I don't understand. That I means uh, a little bit quicker. <laughs> well, than, uh, running it for four yards at a crack. Good shot of Terry there. He's thinking about where he wants to go eat, but you yep. watch SC come back now. Loya's in for Hogue now at center. Robert Loya. Out in the quarterback, delay gives it to Sermon. Sermon's tried to cut back in and got nailed. He got a couple of yards, maybe to the 42. Second and eight at the 42-yard line. Clock now becoming uh, the big time enemy of SC. That and a 10 point deficit. They're going to have to do something, uh, Coach Burdick, to get this ball in the end zone in a hurry. Exactly. Is that <laughs> Second and one. They're playing run. I'm trying to throw this thing, and now they're running the football. And Delon Washington is over 100 yards and over 1,000 for the year, takes it to the 46, which is going to make it third and four at the 46. And I don't know, do they really expect to break a long run against a very alert Bruin defense? The thing that you see I like mean, like a 60-yarder? Is that what they're trying to do here? Sure looks like it, but the way this UCLA secondary tackles, Bobby Field does a great job of teaching these kids, and they do a great job of tackling the Union open field. Well, you're on the horns of a dilemma now. Third and four. You run it. If you throw it and come up empty, what do you do with fourth and four? Alon Washington's got 130 yards. The pitch. Washington has the first down, and he's dropped as he gets to the Bruin 47-yard line. Bennett's there to make the stop. Blocked by Barnum. It'll be first and 10 at the Bruin 47, which is all well and good. And the Bruin shaking up, and the clock stops with 9:13, 9:18 to go. This is reverse angle coming right at you. Student body left. Locked down with a tight end, Johnny McWilliams. Put your guard and tackle around. Michaels and great kick out blocked by Barnum again. Boy, he's done that consistently all year long. Bennett, you see him there, number eight, in on the tackle. Got his legs twisted up underneath him. And he is down in an obvious pain. Bennett is an outstanding football player. Good man out of San Diego. Senior, 6'2", 219-pounder. Had three interceptions. There's DeLon Washington with 137 yards and 24 carries. 9.13, time remaining. SC's down by 10. They've got to get seven, maybe go for two. Well, they have to have two scores, let's face it. Trojans need two scores. The Bruins have a 10-point lead in the clock, working to their advantage, and Bennett still down, shaken up across the way. SC will go to the Rose Bowl, and speculation runs high that it will be Ohio State. They rolled to a victory yesterday. And uh, Northwestern the uh, Cinderella unit in the Big Ten. It wasn't that long ago, maybe like last uh, August, when people said the Big Ten and Northwestern, or who are the Purple Wildcats? Huh? You know, after uh, the Notre Dame SC game back there in Chicago this year, we went out to dinner with all the prime sports guys and all the celebrating the street. I thought they were Notre Dame people. No, they Northwestern. Were. They were Northwestern folks. Yeah, when we were back there, I think they killed Wisconsin that day. <laughs> they did. Just murder up. Run. Yeah, murder run. Wisconsin 31 to nothing or something. Well, I guess that's what makes football fans football fans, especially college football fans. You just never know 
And all of a sudden, a group of kids come together and catch lightning in a bottle, and such is the case for the Cats. And what's their coach's name? Gary Barnett. What a job that kid did. He was an assistant uh, for Bill McCartney up in Colorado. Oh, what a job he's done. There's a guy that was an assistant for a long time, Terry Donahue. He's been associated with this game as a player, assistant coach, head coach for 28 years. You know, we were talking, Dennis Venetian and I earlier, um, for the telecast about quarterbacks who've had an effect on this game who no one ever heard of before, like uh, a Norm Dow. And Dunning, he played with Dow in 66. He beat us, 14-7. And then you've got Joe Barnes. Joe who? <laughs> and Barnes wins two years ago. <laughs> Unbelievable. Three years ago. I never heard of him in 1965. He was a defensive tackle. Now, you tell me we put our number one draft choice, Ron Uri, on him, and we lose a football game? Terry's 185 pounds soaking wet. Gutty. Well, I think he is living proof <laughs> of, the, of the sobriquet gutty little girl. Smile, Terry. God's sake, you're up by 10 points here with less than 10 minutes to play. He only smiles after mass tomorrow. <laughs> First, he's really a great time. First down. Oh, they throw a pass to Keyshawn, and he drops it. Tried to get him out one-on-one. Cut him down on a cross. That's a quick hit. Throw it at him. It's a quick hit. Give him a chance running. to catch him. Running all day. And uh, throwing it to your right as a quarterback is a little more difficult than your left. When you throw that thing to your left, you got your whole body coming with you to the right. You just have to push the thing out there. Well, it's second and ten at the Bruin, 47. Washington finds a bit of a hole and takes it to the 43. Big-time tackle by Donnie Edwards, their All-American linebacker. Which makes it third and six in the clock running. 8.48 to go, and the Trojans are trying to run this game to death. They've got magnificent receivers with great speed. Parker's a great catcher of the ball, so is Miller, Keyshawn Johnson, and we're running it, or they are, into the middle of the line, and now faced with a third and six. I think they'll throw it this time. There's nobody back there. Somebody moved. No flags. Otten running for his life. Throws. Caught at the 35-yard line. If that's good, it's going to be a first down. I can't believe that coming across with Stretz that he wasn't offside. Oh, no flag. Boy, Stretz got, got to Otten before Otten got the ball. Take a look at him right Watch here. Watch this again. Watch him right here, just to the right of the center. Now, you mean he's not oh. offside without a flag? That's the second call today that... You know what they do to you is, that is without, that's one of the weirdest calls. You know what they do to you as a head football coach, Tom. You're in there whether win or lose. Wow. One of the officials comes in and hands you a form, and you have to fill out how do you think the officiating went. Wow. That is that is really unbelievable. Washington driving down to about the 31-yard line. Going to be a gain of four, second and six at the 31, and the clock is now down to eight minutes. Yeah. I I, I think they've got to start going to the end zone. Well, I would Time is becoming a real factor. Are you kidding? 7.54. You know, getting back to that officiating, they, they give you this form to fill out, and then you're graded, you grade the officials, and then they grade your comments as a coach. So I just wrote obscenity. Second down. Again, they give it to Washington. He gets across the 30 and down to about the 28, which is going to be three yards, make it third and three at the 28. From a coaching standpoint, maybe I'm going crazy. Is there some reason they are not throwing the football? No, and, and UCLA is playing a defense to defend the run, Tom. They're they're going to give you the pass. Then why is Riley not calling for a pass? No, 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 I'm not connected to that, that phone set. I'm just talking to our producer, Jeff Proctor. This is really strange. Seven minutes now, coming down. Trojans act as though they're up by 10 and have got two hours to play. Instead, it's they're down by 10. Here's Sermons on a sweep. He gets nowhere. Can you can you convince me, Coach Verdig, about this uh, play calling? Please. Yeah, I, you know, I, I really don't know. I don't call the plays anymore. I used to call some good ones, and I call some real awful ones, too. Uh, but obviously, now you've got to put the ball up. And well, I mean, does everybody that. know that? <laughs> I mean, the clock continues to run. Six and a half minutes. 
SC has, uh, for the past month, been its own worst enemy in trying to win football games. And they are continuing to act as such here this afternoon. Fourth down. Down by 10. Now they're going to throw it. Or are they? Caught by Johnson. Who else? And he steps out of bounds for the first down. Now, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, you tell me. No, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. I'll tell you, it was a great job by Brad Hunt. That front man right there, number 10. I, he, he evades the rush and finds his best football player against his own defense coming across the middle. I cannot explain why the Trojans persist in running the football with time running out. And down by 10. There they go again. Washington dropped it and fell on it. Some of the fans are starting to agree with you here, Tom. I, well, I mean, it, I, well, I think only common sense would dictate that you try something besides running up the middle, and now the clock is down under six minutes. Second and ten at the 24. Sixteenth play of this drive. Sixteenth play. And I think they've thrown the ball maybe twice, three times. Hutton's going to throw it now. Hutt. Down at the 15-yard line. Caught by Parker. I mean... That was a great grab. Hope we get another shot of this. He was trying to go to Keyshawn. And their inside backer, Wilmer and Bennett. You want Wilmer and Bennett on the inside. They take Keyshawn Johnson away from him. And there he goes. This is the only spot he can throw it. And Larry Parker does a great job of concentrating and hanging on. Five minutes remain in this football game. SC has laboriously moved the ball down the field. Seven and a half minutes. They need two scores. Seven and a half minutes. They're trying to get a first down. And Washington will take care of that as he takes it to the 12. And the clock stops with 4.50 to play. 90. 1,363 on hand. It is first and 10 SC, and the ball is at the Bruin 12-yard line. What was the largest crowd in USC UCLA history, Tom? Boy, I don't know. 103,000 in 1939, and Nick Pappas was the tailback. You know, SC. I missed doing that game. I was sick, <laughs> had the flu that way. That's right, you were in Peoria. First down. And there's a whistle. Now the clock is at 4.34, and I think is going to be a procedure call. False start against the Trojans. Good ball. False start on the offense. Well, since we John been... Robinson came back to suffer those agonies on the side. <laughs> oh, he, lo he loves it. He loves a game like this, and so does Terry Dottie. Here. I can't believe this is what this game's all about. I mean, football's all about. I can, I can understand the anguish and concern on Johnson's face, on Robinson's face. Donahue, why is he not smiling? He's first and 15, back at the 17-yard line. Hot to throw. Keyshawn at the 10. Keyshawn takes it down to about the 7-yard line. Okay, you and I have been doing... Hawk is still running. You and I have been doing a lot of coaching up here. Now, let's say they... they let's just say they scored on this play. It's an ISO shot right here. It's against his own defense. This is what they tried to hit two plays earlier. They finally gets to him and Keyshawn shows the strength. But now, let's say they scored on that play. You go for one or two. Uh, you know, the way we or this team is frittered away. Seven minutes moving down the field and they still haven't got it in the end zone. Washington takes it down to the goal line. I go for two points. Tom. I can't see whether or not he's given a touchdown. No, he's close. See, I'm trying to think ahead. First and goal at about the one-inch line. I'm trying to think ahead as an old assistant coach. What's the left side of USC's line? That's John Allred coming off. John Michael, Kyle Ramsey. Great block at the point of attack right there. Well, he bounced over the end line, didn't he? Bounced into the end zone. Off, no touchdown. Off the close. All alone in the end zone for the pass. Cashman. They're going to go for two, just like uh, we well, were But you see, I don't understand this. It makes no difference because they still have to score a touchdown. 
Right. But even if they get two, they still have to score a touchdown. Field goal can still win it for you, too. Well, but they have great play pitch. What time was it when they started this drive, Dennis? 12.38 when they started this drive. And it's taken them nine minutes and eight seconds to put the ball in the end zone. And I think they threw the ball three times, maybe four, the last one being the touchdown pass. Now they're going for two. It is 24-20. No good. Tipped away. Now they have to score a touchdown. Twenty plays to go 82 yards and nine minutes. What they're trying to do here at the bottom of the screen is we're trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Keyshawn, obviously. And UCLA changes up from a man-to-man -man defense to man-to-man -to -man underneath with a two-deep zone. And now when he sees he doesn't have him, he knows he's got the short man in the flat, and that's what he's going to try to do. So the Trojans, will they try an onside kick? We'll have to find out about that. Three and a half minutes remain. We'll be back. Every 10 seconds or so, a stop sign goes up somewhere in America. And every 30 seconds, a traffic light goes up. It's as hard on your car as it is on you. It's stop and go. Stop and go. Stop and go drive. Use Pennzoil, formulated for today's stop and go driving. Stop, go, Pennzoil. This is weird. It's great, but it's weird. a more explosive ball velocity. Aye, but mere weeks for 18 PGA Touring pros to call it their own. The Tie Bubble 2 driver. Exactly how long will your game be waiting? TaylorMade, find your game. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. 24-20, SC's try for two fails, and the Trojans now, three and a half minutes left in the game, down by four, obviously needing a touchdown. We'll be kicking off. Can you believe this drive, 82 play, eight yards, 20 plays, it took nine minutes. I think they threw the ball three times, maybe four, including the pass for the touchdown. Elroy takes it at the 4, 5, 10, and gets out to the 20, 21 yard line. So UCLA will have it first and 10 on their 21. They have two timeouts, so do the Trojans, 326. UCLA will use the clock to be sure. SC's defense can only hope that they force the Bruins into a three and out and get the ball and let them take care of their own fate. If they allow the Bruins to pick up a first down or two, this ball game will be lost. Well, again, if you coach against Terry Donahue, you've got to stop the run here on first down. Unless he's completely out of character today, he's going to run that football. Well, they've got receivers spread wide to the right, two of them to the left. And they hand the ball off, and it's Ayers, and he's got some room, and then he bounced out of bounds at about the 30. Has success running the football, you're going to see it again. Davis knocked him out of bounds at the 30. It's going to be second and about a yard to go. The clock stopped at 3:20 when he went out of bounds. You know, seeing Jordan there, number four of the UCLA wide receiver. I don't believe he's caught a ball today, Tom. He's the number one receiver in their history, yardage and number of receptions. That's saying something. And 
they give the ball to the big fullback and Caldwell falls forward. And at his size and weight, that's good for a first down. First and 10 of the 31. They make it the 32. Clock at 316. They stop it to move the chains. The Bruins will just eat up the clock, and who can blame them? That's only smart. They're ahead by four, looking to make it an unprecedented five straight wins over the Trojans. Clock running, and McDowell, the freshman, taking advantage of every second he's allowed before he puts it in play. Oh, my. Well, the big fullback, Caldwell, calls a halt to things. He took a step forward. Little procedure call, and that'll move it back and make it first and 15 back at the 26. But dead ball, ball 254. Time the remaining. The offense. Well, there's a lot of anxiety across the way with the Trojans, and there's a lot of pressure on Donahue and the Bruins as well. They scored 21 points before SC got on track or even realized the game was underway. And they uh, led 21 to 7 at halftime. And they've scored three points in the second half, but that may be all they need. SC's dominated the second half, but they've done nothing about winning the football game. Moves the ball to Ayers, and Kennelly hits him and drops him for a Gain maybe of a yard. It's going to be second down and about 14 at the 27. 240 remaining, and Robinson decides to take a timeout. I think that's a good call by Coach Robbie. 24 20. The Bruins lead with two minutes and 40 seconds to go. We'll be back. Seconds remain. Bruins have the ball on their own 27. They lead 24 20, and it's a second down and 14. Trojans uh, took over the ball with 12.38 to go in the fourth quarter, went 80 yards, 82 yards in 20 plays, and used up nine minutes and eight seconds running the football. And Ayers nearly gets away as he. Finally dragged down by uh, Russell. And now it is a third down, and the ball will be out at the Bruin 33-yard line. And it'll be third and seven, and the clock shows 2.20. I would say this is the biggest play of the afternoon right here, Tom. Well, I can think of nine minutes of running the football and down by 10 points. Crowd sets up a roar. McDowell, the young freshman, is in the shotgun. Keeps it himself and is going to run for the first down. What a great play by this kid. First down, Bruins. And you're right. It was the biggest play of the game, and that will seal the Trojans' fate as he goes 21 yards for the first down. That was a great call by Bobby Toledo, their offensive coordinator. <laughs> that took some courage. Here it is. They're picking the sweep. They ran all day long. He's going to fake it here to Milner and jumps inside Ifiani. And he puts the football away and gets 21, a first down, and now he's got four more downs to work with. So the Bruins now, with a minute 43 and the clock ticking away, could care less. As they have a first down at the SC 47 yard line. Delroy in motion. They give it to Milliner, and Milliner is inside the 45 to about the 43. Minute 25 to go, and unprecedented five straight wins for the Bruins over the Trojans, who I must say took nine minutes and eight seconds to convince everybody that uh, maybe UCLA ought to win this one. Clock now at a minute 25. Donahue on the threshold of winning his 98th game in the Pac-10. If you haven't seen XTRA live weekday mornings on Fox Sports West 2, you've missed... I'm the luckiest guy 
in this whole world. I can't believe all the wonderful things that are happening. <laughs> Take a bite, Steve. Big bite. Bite his head off. One bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. A one bourbon and one scotch. Catch XTRA Live weekday mornings from 7 till 9, only on Fox Sports West 2. of you telling them chapter and verse of course you're up by four points you have the football they have no more timeouts and you've got two left don't dare call one and he says we're going to run it very conservatively here and the first guy that drops the ball don't come to class on monday because your scholarship is through do you suppose he'll smile enough over the weekend to have lunch with him <laughs> i know no. we're going to hold that off till july <laughs> he cools down and so do i <laughs> Minute 25 to go, and all the Bruins have to do is take a snap and sit on it. Ball at the Trojan 44. Jordan in motion. Now they give it to Miller, and he cuts back and gets hit by Sammy Knight. Going to pick up another four yards down to 41. Clock is at 115. Trojans can't stop it. Bruins don't care to. I see both of those coaches visiting in the locker room before the game. Both locker rooms were very similar. John Robinson was very subdued. Terry was very subdued. And so were both teams. Well, you know, the bitter disappointment is that the Trojans, quote, headed for the Rose Bowl and really fired up to win this football game. And they come out and spot the Bruins 21 points and then watch their hopes turn to ashes right here. 42 seconds. Down, hands off, tail back into the line, nothing going on. Down to 36, 35. The only way the ball would, the uh, clock would stop is if the Bruins got a first down, and now with 30 seconds left, they could care less about it. You know, Tom, the only thing I can say is we lost to UCLA once with Norman Dow as a quarterback. We went to the Rose Bowl, and we went to the Rose Bowl four years in a row. There's a happy man, Coach Terry Donahue. A lot of people think he might announce his retirement. I don't know about that. I heard that rumor, but I know his wife, Andrea, and she needs the money. Seven and four will be his record this year, and the Trojans go to eight, two, and one. What a disappointing ball game for SC. What a great win for the Bruins, who scored 21 points in the first half, got three in the second, and held off the Trojans to win it, 24 to 20. Congratulations, Coach. Win number 98 in the Pac-10. That is an amazing achievement. And for you, John Robinson, our condolences. Nine and a half minutes wasted driving down the field in the fourth quarter. My, my, my. We'll be back. 